Hello everyone, welcome to BIM Model channel. This is Raj. So for BIM Modelers, we are starting with uh, another tutorial on basic Revit architectural tutorial. So how do we link the Revit model and do a copy monitoring options? As already we have discussed how we can link the Revit model and do a collaborations between the team earlier. But this particular part which helps and if you are starting your model from your structural model or if you are the uh, architect who starts the uh, architectural model from the structure or either ways, uh, it helps to link the model between your architecture or between your MEP model, link back your MEP model, you can check your coordinations. You could do all this process like you will be able to take the model inside and verify it uh, or otherwise you can overlay it and you can do a copy and monitoring between those elements. If any changes happen between uh, your model or the original source model, the uh, model which you are linking inside will automatically uh, notify, get notified and it will be uh, 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 known to you and automatically you can adjust the elements based on the command that we have received. So from that, uh, let's start. Uh, so if you are new to BIM model channels, if you are not subscribed, do subscribe to the BIM model channels and do share your videos with the learning friends. Uh, we are doing continuous series of tutorials on uh, advanced uh, families, family creations and also we are doing series of tutorials on basic architecture and we are coming up with the basic dynamo tutorial on next. So stay tuned to the BIM model channels, you will be uh, learning daily a lot. So it's a daily learning tutorial. Let's start it, dive into it. <coughs> so let's say we have a, a starting our structural model or if you are starting an architectural model, either way we can take it. So let's say that you are starting your, um, your structural model, new and let's take structural template on the other side i have in our project locations i have a link file which is a basic sample file project file which is from the autodesk revit so i have copied the file in this place and make sure that the file which is reside in your folder location and go back to the your original model structural model and you have to link your architecture model in this place by using insert and going back to the link model so as i mentioned earlier it can be anything uh, maybe a architecture model or it may be a mep model for your cl class detection so it may be anything so that uh, it verifies the copy and monitor between so the locations that I am mentioning from here. As I mentioned earlier also in the earlier tutorials, so there are different options to insert a model. It may be, uh, it may be a AutoCAD file or it may be a uh, Revit file. So you will have a different options to insert it. So the insertion options are advanced tutorials. We'll be covering it separately so that it will be more, much more clear to the people those who are working with it. So in this case, I like to keep it as origin to origin so that it sits in the center position or you can keep it in the center to center and let's start with open. I'm just inserting the architecture model to the uh, structural template. The models get import inserted and as I mentioned it, it is a link between those two elements. The elements are not copied. I'm just con pressing control S and I could save my model back and say option one let us save this in collaboration tab so that we have discussed about earlier or earlier uh, about uh, collaborating between the teams using these tools and we have not discussed about these tools in earlier options. It is a coordination tool that we supposed to discuss in the starting. 
So what are these options? So, so say we are starting the structural model in the beginning time. So we have to copy this elements from the structural model. Say for example, the structural model already initiated. They have their own grids and levels. Or in either ways, if the architecture model already been started, they have the initial set of datums such as levels and grid. You can copy and monitor to your model. Let's say we need to copy this grid and we have to monitor always whether it's changing or not. So many people are get struggling. Uh, uh, if the grid it changes in one place, automatically it changes in all other places. Say for example, link rivet. You have to select the linked file so that the rivet understands from where you are trying to copy the element. You may have multiple links in your Revit file. You have to specifically click your element, Revit uh, linked element. Once you have selected the model, the whole model, you will be able to come up with this dialog box. From this dialog box, you could uh, possibly uh, do a settings, which is related to the uh, elements that you are trying to copy. The level, grid, column, wall, and flows. These are the element, basic elements which is available. You could probably copy all these elements whatever available in this place and their related settings if you see that the original type which is 8 millimeter head so what is the new type need to be created for level the head type so based on this the grid settings and the grid while copying it will be copied here so let's for column also and well also so for example if you see that in architectural model so we have these types of walls but in here going to copy only the generic eight type of wall since we don't have any other uh, the matching type of wall so it will automatically place a generic eight inch wall you could you could create your new type and you can assign it since in this project i'm not going to copy the wall or floor or any columns to this place so I'm going to copy only the level and grids too and show you the different. From this let's start it. Say OK. And you can start with copying option. You could probably select one by one. One element by one element. Selecting like this. It will take for the first element it will take some time to copy it. After that it will be copying very fast. So once if the process is completed, you could see that there is one more element and the symbol it shows that monitoring it starts. If there is a monitoring between the your architectural and structural element, grid element. Let's click the other one so it will be faster. And you could select all the grid elements like this. And I wanted to do a, a multiple copy at the same time so that it will be faster. I can select all the elements so it will select floor, even floor and walls. You could use the filter option in the option bar to filter out only the elements we needed. Select only the grids, click OK, and you could see that the elements, grid elements, only be selected. Click finish, and it will be placed on your model. So we have selected the copied elements and you could see that if I select individual element, it will show monitoring option automatically in this place. It means there is a relation between the elements. Similarly, you could go to your elevation view, for example, any elevations, to copy your level. And if you see that we have only two levels, I could select like this and filter only there are two levels but in an architectural model there are a couple of other levels also available you could change the scale value to see it if you wanted to see it clearly and you can stretch it inside whether it's sitting properly or not the level one and level two it is sitting properly we have to do already it is available the levels are already available you could probably only do a monitoring option so directly take the monitor and you can select your our level that means the current model level and then the linked model level 
So once you click both the levels, you will be able to see the this symbol monitor symbol. So it means it get monitor. So we are not copying it since already it is existing. So we are just monitoring it. And you could see that the level two it's got misaligned. You have to use the align command AL, and you could align this. And you could align this and use a monitor, click two levels, you will be able to see the symbols. So this is how you could probably uh, already existing elements can be monitored. So if you don't have the element particular level, you have to use the copy and you have to click your levels like for example this foundation level and this level living room level ceiling level we don't have to have it in structural model and you can click this level so this is how you could create your the copied monitor level to your project so if you see that there are other two options which is for batch copy and the batch copy settings are available here so these all are for MEP settings and which is related for MEP equipment or elements uh, which is for copy monitoring so we as of now we are discussing about architecture model make sure that you understand this and since if you are using in your architecture model if you are using the switch or any receptacles that you wanted to copy monitoring uh, between your MEP model to the architecture model you could use it otherwise uh, you could probably leave this alone once you have done finish it now after doing a copy monitoring we need to check whether the copy monitoring works so you could probably go to the manage and manage link which is under manage manage link and you could unload it to see the difference so these are the elements which is created from uh, architecture model we could do undo manage link reload it <clears throat> so we now going to test it so I have an another Revit file and I will be opening the linked model over in this place the sample file I'm just opening it separately in separate Revit you should not open in the same rivet if you are trying to open it the current model will be closed so i am using a separate rivet model rivet uh, extension i am going to change their grid position to show you what happens in the rivet so for example and i am going to move this level and i am going to delete this grid so I'm, I've made two changes one is moving and another one is deleted so if I press control A S control S going, going back to the uh, structural model again and if you reopen it or if you are trying to uh, reload the model from manage link I'm reloading the model otherwise if you are reopening the model it will show this dialog box what it means there is a change in your linked model so you have to understand that there are changes happened in your coordinated model you can expand it and you, even you will be able to export it and later time you can use it and this is a model which got updated let's see what change happened so it is asking us to check the coordination review which is under collaborate and we have the settings over in this place so you could go and check the coordination settings review settings in this model if I click it now you could see that there are different options it's showing and there are two different changes happen the one which is check whether an element exists so I can go and show you you see that this is our own model and the architecture model got moved and the other side if you see that only our element exists the other 
structural model architecture model element it is missed so we have to do an action based on that so if i say that uh, the elements are need to be moved so for example the element deleted i can say that delete element or force point it later time to someone to review it by adding the command or otherwise directly i can say delete the element on the other side grid mode can postpone it and otherwise i can accept the difference so otherwise i mean to say that the, the difference will be remains the same otherwise i can modify the grid one to same place wherever it exists once it is done so i can once if your actions are done so you just apply it the grid get moved and the other side the grid tree will be get deleted so this is how the whole process works even if it is your your copy monitoring your level or if you are copy monitoring your wall uh, the core wall or if you are uh, copy monitoring doing a copy monitoring for your column so the same process exists and you will be get notified and the reviews can be checked from this option so the, this is how the whole process works <clears throat> Or otherwise, if you want to do a class detection between the elements, say for example, you have a MEP element which is need to be class checked basically between your uh, architectural model and uh, or your structural wall element with your uh, MEP elements, you could use. I'm just creating the element here. Uh, you could use. this option in reference check run in reference check and you could see from structural model you could create select the elements and you can run the class detection so if it is clashing between the elements it will show you the result so what are the elements it's getting clashed and automatically it will show you the element id and go nearby that that element and you can do a necessary action so this is how the whole process of uh, class reduction works again once you have done modification you can come back to the same options with the checking so we'll be able uh, we'll be checking this option reference checking and coordination review will be in later session in much advanced way so basically so we are trying to cover it uh, what is copy monitoring and how it works between uh, the files uh, maybe it may be a MEP model or M it is it may be a between architecture and structure models so hope this understands and it, this helps you so uh, so leave a comment below to understand what you are thinking and if you have any questions i can address the same in the next future videos so that's it for this tutorial so if you are uh, uh, like this video so do a share it with your friends and do a thumbs up and see you on the next tutorial thank you bye